Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. I appreciate your support. Make sure you turn on those notifications because I do upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And sometimes I'll put out a bonus video on Sunday. So I I don't want you to miss any of them. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the iconic Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pumps. Since I've shared with you all a little bit of my shoe collection, you guys have been asking me questions about the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pumps as far as sizing, um, wear and tear, and just all the things. So today I have you covered. If you are interested, then stick around. Here are my hangy C pumps. As you can see, I have a yellow pair and I have like a pinky nude blush pair. And we'll get into all the specs a little bit later, but they are both in the heel height 105. So before we get started on my personal thoughts, I just wanna give you guys some specs and background. So Manolo Blahnik came out with the hangy C pump in 2008. And of course they were made very famous by Miss Carrie Bradshaw of Sex and the City. Um, when Big proposed to her on well, a second time, girl, in the closet, in the beautiful closet with those beautiful blue um, Hangisi pumps in the heel height 105. Um, since then, you know, Manolo Blahnik has created several different fabrics. They're most known for the satin, but you will find a tweed. Sometimes you'll find like different um, special collections. I've seen graffiti, I've seen denim, different kinds. They also have so many different heel heights okay and girl i didn't even know it was this many heel heights so they do have the flat version um they have which i think is the 10 millimeters then they have a 30 mil then they have a 50 mil they have a 70 mil i saw a 90 and then also the 105 and the newer ones are the 115s but they're kind of hard to get your hands on now i'm not sure if they have an 80 um I want to say they do, but I did not see that heel height anywhere. So maybe they don't. Maybe they skip from 70 to um, 90, but they have a heel for every single person on this earth, literally from your 15 year old daughter up to your 95 year old grandmother, if she chooses. Okay. And they also have, um, different styles as well. So like I mentioned, you have your flats, then you also have your flat mules, then you have your heel mules, then you have, uh, the pump version, which comes in all of those different heel heights as well. I'm just going to hold up the yellow pair right now. So they are most known for this hangy C, um, crystal brooch on the front of the shoe. This one is in gunmetal. I've seen a lot more gunmetal lately, but I feel like when they first came out, they did more of the white crystals. But over time, they definitely come out with different crystal versions. Um, like I said, this is gunmetal. You have your white crystal. This blush pair here actually has like a pinky rose gold type of crystal. I mean, absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I've seen pearls and all the things okay so there's so many different styles and designs of the hangisi but all in this classic shape the retail price for the Hangy C pumps on the Manolo Blahnik website is $995. So this first pair here are a pair of the yellow Hangy Cs. These are so beautiful. They are a deeper yellow, I would say a golden yellow, if you will. Um, if you guys remember like the huge box of crayons, what was it called? Goldion, the crayon, it's like that color. And I love the fact that, like I mentioned before, it does have that gunmetal Hangy C um, brooch on there. This is in the 105 heel height. It also has the um, silver little ring around the heel as well. And this pair, 105 heel height, it's in a nice blush pink color with again like that rose gold kind of crystal detailing. Um, it also has a silver ring around the heel as well. Okay, so these are the two pairs that I have. And the sizing is completely different on these shoes. So let's get into sizing. 
So the first pair of hangisis were these, okay? These were the yellow ones. I picked these up from Savannah's online. They always have like a little bit of a sale and I was able to get these on sale brand new, as you can see, um, no issues. I've only worn these one time, but what I will say is yes, they are very comfortable. Just let's get that out of the way. They are very comfortable shoes. Um, but depending on which shoe you get, it will vary in comfort and I'll tell you why. So in my research, um, I found out that the dots on the bottom of these shoes determine what factory they were made in. So they're all made in Italy, but they're made in different factories and they put these dots on the bottom of the shoes. So depending on how many dots is on the bottom of your shoe will determine the factory and it also determines the size. A lot of people don't know this. So sometimes you may go into the store, you'll try on a shoe, it may fit perfectly in whatever size you decide. But if you decide to buy these online, you may not get that exact one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the sizing could be off. So these have three dots. Again, I got these from Savannah's. This is a UK based website and I got these in a size 37. When I originally picked these up, I got these in a size 37 and a half because I've read tons of reviews letting me know that they run true to size. I wear a US uh, seven and a half. So I got these in a 37 and a half. When I got them, y'all, they were flipping and flapping off of my feet really bad. I was so shocked. And I had also tried on a pair in store before and I did not have that issue in my actual size. So when I got that 37 and a half, I was very confused, but good thing I was able to return them and they still honored the sale price. So I went down a half size because I was nervous to get a 36 and a half. I feel like I could have, but they just would have been way too tight. And Manolo Blahnik Kangisi pumps are known to be very comfortable. So I didn't want to sacrifice that. So again, these run big. I got these in a size 37. They have three dots on the bottom. Now let's get into these. Now these I actually got in a sample sale at Saks and you can see it has that black mark on the inside and that just means you cannot return these to the store because they were from a sample sale. So I got these from for an amazing, amazing deal. You guys, I think I paid like $250 for these. Could not beat it with a stick, okay? Now I got these in a size 37 and a half and the girl who was shopping the sample sale, I told her, make sure you look at the dots because that's gonna determine if I can fit these or not. And she told me that they had the five dots. So I said, okay, perfect, get them in 37 and a half. She did, they fit me perfectly, you guys, okay? Absolutely perfect. So the five dots run true to size, the three dots run large. Now here's my theory. I could be making this up, but I just have a theory on this. So. I mentioned earlier that these were purchased from Savannah's, which is a UK based website. Now my mom has a pair of red hangisis as well that she purchased from Farfetch and they shipped from Browns. Again, another UK based website, okay? And when she got hers, she got hers in a 38 and a half and they were sw her feet were swimming in them. We're actually selling them. So if you're interested, hit me up because I'm selling them on my Poshmark. Um, but she loved them so much. The color was so beautiful. She still wanted to try it out. She wore them for her anniversary one time and just realized that it was a no-go. The insert didn't work. So, you know, it's it's just the shoe is too big. Again, it had the three dots. Now these, like I mentioned, are from Saks. Same heel height, but from Saks, which is US based. And I actually picked my mom up a black pair for Christmas. They were having a sale and they were down to like $500 for they had the black and the blue pair. And so I picked her those up because I knew she loved the Hangisi style and she wasn't able to wear her red ones like she wanted to. She's had those for about a year. She wasn't able to wear those. So I wanted to surprise her for Christmas and get her those. So being that they were from Saks, they only had a size 38. I said, hey, I'll try it. Just to see because you never know where you where they're gonna come from and of course sex you can return them so I ordered them I tried them on myself and girl they halfway fit so I knew right away and from the dots on the bottom they were the five dots US based store that were these were purchased from okay so my theory is that maybe the UK or maybe even overseas sellers 
pick from one warehouse and maybe the US sellers pick from a different warehouse because anytime that I've tried these on in the US, they fit me perfectly. Anytime that I've ordered online through Farfetch or Savannah's, um, they run large, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm not saying that that is concrete information or 100% correct, but the both times that I've gotten them from Saks, they have fit perfectly true to size. And the times that I have not and gotten them from somewhere overseas, they were too big. Okay, now let's get into the slight differences I noticed. And I'm gonna come closer to you guys because listen, we, we need to really get into the shoe. Now, the things that I'm probably gonna say are not going to be things that are extremely noticeable, but if you are a pump connoisseur like myself, you notice everything about a pump. And there are certain shapes about pumps that make you love a pump, okay? I'm an original Pagal wearer. We love the toe cleavage. We love the high arch. You know, the vamp is super low. So things like that I pay attention to, right? So when I got these, I, I wouldn't have known any better because I did not have a comparison. So I got these and I was like, yeah, these are really comfortable. They run big, cool. But then when I got these, I noticed a clear distinction. And this is the same with my mom's uh, red pair and her black pair. The comparison is the exact same. Look at the shoe. First of all, you can already tell. Now this is a size 37. This is a size 37 and a half. You can look at the shoe if you can't, girl. You can look at the shoe and tell this is wider. You see, this shoe looks bigger in general. It just looks like a wider shoe. And this is the front. This shoe, the toe box, wider, and it comes up a little bit higher even though this shoe is larger. Okay, so that's the first thing that I noticed. And that's the thing that the shoe is gorgeous regardless because it's the, it's the style of the shoe that makes it. But that little bit of difference, it makes me, I prefer the US size ones, the ones that have the three dots. And here is the reason why. I'm gonna bring these up here. Do you see this dent, not dent, do you see this, um, where the arch starts. I don't even know what to call that. This one is a lot more sharp. You can see how it comes down and then it starts going up, right? Do you see that? This one has more of a curve going up, okay? So it doesn't come down and go up. It kind of just gradually goes up, okay? So these feel lower. And in my opinion, it's because the arch is a little bit lower it lays a little bit flatter in the arch of the shoe. It's hard to hold two shoes, girl, at one time. But this lays a little bit flatter in the arch of the shoe, which makes it run larger, which also makes it not have as much toe cleavage, and in my opinion, not as sexy, okay? Now look at this one. Look at this one. Down, up, that arch, sits higher, same heel height, but it's the way that the shoe is made. So on the foot, this one looks a little bit more sexy. It gives you a little bit more toe cleavage. It's a little bit more sleek and narrow um, at the toe. And again, I prefer this one. You can, to me, it's obvious. Like you can just look and see the difference of the shoe. It's more dainty, more sexy, just, love okay but this is an older shoe and i can tell just because it was sample sale and also with the satin when you handle it a lot it can get kind of fuzzy these are like super super brand new there's no fuzz the satin is girl crisp like fresh off the press right so that is the clear difference for me so moving forward if i do decide to add more hangisis i will probably order them from Saks or get them pre-loved without being worn if possible, or just make sure that they have the five dots. Um, because I do prefer this. And to me, this is a little bit more comfortable for me because I have a high arch in my foot. Now, for those who don't like, you know, a high arch in their shoes, 
these may be best. So maybe order from Farfetch or Savannah's or any of the UK based websites because I can pretty much guarantee you you're gonna get this three dot. Um, and that means size down. Now, safely, I would say size down a half size. If you're feeling bold or if you have more of a narrow foot, you can probably size down a full size, you guys, because you'll see these on, um, I still have a little bit of space, but it's nothing that like an insert won't do. And then um, also the thing about my heel, like I have a really big dip in my Achilles. So sometimes the shoes look a little bit larger than they are, but my actual heel is at the back of the shoe. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you'll see it on. So anyway, these are the shoes, guys. I absolutely love them. Highly recommend them because they are a very um, beautiful special occasion pump. They come in so many different colors. I mean, you have your reds, your greens, your blues, your uh, blacks, gunmetal gray, white. I mean, perfect wedding shoe. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. And I also like the fact that they're very dressy, but I can dress them down. My favorite way, way to wear hangisis are with jeans because it just adds that like pop that I like and you know it's kind of like effortless like you just threw these beautiful shoes on but you're just wearing like a t-shirt and jeans or a white button down and jeans so absolutely love these shoes but these are my thoughts okay and I feel like I've kind of debunked the myth of Manolo Blahnik maybe I ain't the only one girl let me know I'm you know I may be late to the game but it was a whole debacle with both me and my mom trying to find these shoes that fit us perfectly in our size, okay? So I wanna save you guys that trouble. Um, but I do highly recommend them. They're beautiful, beautiful shoes, iconic. They will never go out of style ever in life. Um, and they're princess shoes. Like when you put these types of shoes on, you just feel happy. And that's exactly what being a woman is all about. It's like those little things that we can do that just really make us feel super magical. You know what I'm saying? So love the Manolo Blahnik Hangisis. Um, you know, I don't know about the other heel heights as far as sizing goes because I only get the 105s. Um, so if you guys know anything about Manolo Blahnik sizing or if you have anything to add, make sure you leave a comment down below. I am totally interested in hearing your thoughts about these shoes. Do you think that these shoes are iconic? Do you feel like these are a must have? Um, Doing my research, it just made me fall in love with the brand all over again. And Manolos are known to be very comfortable. I have about five pairs of Manolos in my collection, different styles, um, but I have these two Hangisi. But yeah, guys, that concludes my review on the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pumps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. It lets me know if you enjoyed this content and what I need to continue to make. Also, if you have any other luxury reviews that you want me to do, put those down in the comment section down below and I will do my best for you. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.